You've been lied to your whole life, your whole dirty life. Why are you letting it happen? Take your power back, you powerless micro bitch. So I'm not a scientist. This channel isn't where you come for the latest cutting edge research. That's not what I do here. You come here to relax, have a laugh, stimulate the old brain. Think for yourself. You don't have to be told what to do. We have brains, we can figure this out. I know how to heal the body from experience. I've been through the gutters of life. I'm in a gutter. I, I could get out. I did, it's comfy in here. I like the wetness. I don't have all the answers. Nobody does. If anybody's telling you they have all the answers, they're probably selling you cupcakes and you're gonna buy one. You're gonna buy it. So I may not have all the answers you seek, but I'm hoping I can stimulate your brain with the right questions it's better than being told what to do. You get the right question and then you're like, oh, what is the answer to that? And then you think of it and you start researching together. We can figure this thing out. We can do it together. There's a popular myth floating around, just floating, floating right up there. I can see it from here. God. And that myth is omega-6 causes inflammation. And that myth is stupid in the face. Omega-6 doesn't cause inflammation any more than a cashier causes you to lose your money. You lost your money long before you even went to that store. There was a series of events leading up to that moment where you blew all your money on corn men action figures. He's a cob of corn. He's a superhero. You, you only need one though, really. Okay, let's get into some shit. Omega-6 does not cause inflammation. First of all, inflammation is important. You would die without inflammation. You ever cut yourself? Don't cut yourself. Love yourself. But have you ever been cut by accident? And you notice the cut starts getting red Everything's swollen up. That's your body swollen up to protect. Get out, you ain't coming in here. We need inflammation to heal the body. Anything that's wrong with it, you need inflammation to surround, protect, do all this stuff. You need it, it's so important. And omega-6 doesn't cause inflammation, but it gives you the precursors to allow your body to produce inflammation. And that is necessity. We need it or we die. You want to be the guy that dies from a paper cut? Don't be that guy. Eat some omega-6 food. So inflammation is not bad. It's nothing to be afraid of. What is bad is chronic inflammation that's happening all the time from your Twinkies and your Dunkaroo doodle snacks. There are things, there are foods that cause inflammation and you don't want to be chronically inflamed where you're eating foods that are just stabbing your gut and that produces inflammation unnecessarily, you only want produce you only want to produce inflammation when you have something to heal. You don't want it happening all the time, but science has made a mistake. I love science, but you can't trust these correlations. People get things wrong all the time in science. So, you look at a deep fried Twinkie. Yeah, it causes inflammation. And then scientists try to say, okay, why? It's the omega-6 in the oil. That's what does it, omega-6. We figured it out. Where's our prize? Your prize is shut up. Every study ever done on almonds say they are beneficial for heart disease, for colon health, for every single disease on earth. And guess what? They're high in omega-6. What happened? What happened there, science? Omega-6 isn't the problem. When you squeeze that nut and take its oil and let it sit on a shelf and you high temperature heat it and extract it with chemicals, yeah, the omega-6 goes rancid. 
but omega-6 in nuts does not go rancid very easily. Slight, slightly easily, but not very easily. Sunflower seeds are one of the highest omega-6 plant foods on earth, probably, and they last for years. You can put them in the fridge for years, and then you soak them, they will sprout years later. They are not going rancid. They are stuck in their little shell. They're like, you can't touch me. That brings me to the second myth that omega-6 goes rancid very easily. This is not true. You know what? I used to be so afraid of polyunsaturated fats, the omega-3 and 6, and I made this list. I bought into these paleo bro theories that say polyunsaturated fats are bad, so I made this list of the lowest polyunsaturated high fat foods because I was going on a high fat diet and we have coconuts as number one, macadamia nuts, the next best. So macadamia nuts should be the ultimate fat for human beings, right? I got some news for you, buddy. I went downtown trying to find some macadamia nuts. Couldn't find them. I went to three different shops where they have all kinds of nuts and seeds, but nobody had macadamia nuts. And finally, the third guy was like, what's the deal, buddy? I'm looking for macadamia nuts. You don't have them. Why is that? And he told me they go rancid too quickly and he can't sell them. It's a problem. Now, these are the lowest polyunsaturated nut you can find besides coconut. And they go rancid so quickly. Why is that? It's not, rancidity is not all about the fat makeup. There's so much more that goes into it, the antioxidants. Sunflower seeds are super high in vitamin E. I think they're the highest vitamin E nut or seed on earth. And that protects them, it protects the fats. But when you squeeze it into the oil, that, that vitamin E starts to break down. It's like it's fighting off the oxidation for a while, but once it's released into the oil, it's like it can only fight for so long. And then the, the vitamin E drops and then it starts going rancid. So that thought is over. We can't blame omega-6 for all our problems. It is not our problem. And that is reductionist thinking. I read T. Colin Campbell's book, Whole, a long time ago. And he was saying how like, we're trying to pinpoint what's responsible for our health. Why is an orange healthy? It's because it's high in vitamin C. It must be the vitamin C. And tomatoes are healthy just because of the lycopene. No, no. Tomatoes are healthy for their tomato-like ability to tomato you in the prostate or the, or the woman's equivalent organ, the The brain. No. Tomatoes are good because they're tomatoes. You don't have to pick a thing. Oh, it's good because the skin or the seed or the flesh or the liquid or the A, B, or 7 vitamin. Vitamin 7. So I'm on a high omega-6 diet because I eat a lot of nuts and seeds. And I feel inflammation just melting away in my body, in my digestive tract, in my eyes, in my face. I can feel it going away. And the only thing I changed was switching from a high sugar diet to a high fat diet. So maybe sugar causes more inflammation than omega-6. It does in my body. Take that life. The only thing you want to take into consideration with omega-6 is balancing it with enough omega-3 because the omega-6 uses up the enzymes that your body needs to utilize the omega-3s and turn them into DHA and all that stuff. So you have to get enough omega-3. What's the proper ratio? Do we really know? A lot of people say it's one to one, omega-3 to six. Some say you can go as high as one to four, omega-3 to six. But everybody is pretty much on board with you need more omega-6 than three. And it's very important. It's an essential fat. There's no need to be afraid of it. Be afraid of the oils. Yeah corn oil, soy oil, frying your chicken wings in that, that's not a health practice. 
but soaking raw sunflower seeds and making them into a yogurt. How the hell is that going to cause disease in the body? It's a natural food that we're drawn to. Nuts and seeds are delicious. They provide benefits. There's plenty of science. Go to another channel to find it. You're not going to find it here. But I challenge you right now. Go try and find me a study that shows that raw nuts and seeds are bad for the body. I'll wait here. Roasted? Maybe. You might have a point. Because heated fats are not the same as raw fats. Not in my body. I get acne from the cashews and the peanuts. And I think it may be because they're legumes. Shut up. But I think it's because you have to heat them. You have to cook them. You have to cook cashews or there's a toxin on the shell that will kill you. And peanuts have the aflatoxin. So heated fats do not do good things in my body. So find me the study. I'll wait here and I'll be waiting here. No, I'm literally going to wait. Let's wait. You couldn't find it. Okay, I think we're done here. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one. If you're wondering why my hair is wet, I just come out of the shower and I do a video. I don't even comb it. What are you gonna do about it? You unsubscribe. So over here, this guy, day one, this guy had not fasted 21 hours in his life. Well, he had, but this was day one before starting the diet. And this is me yesterday. So do you see a difference? I'm doing the video this time because that's the most accurate. It's day one versus four months later. So tell me if you see a difference. I see it, I feel it, and all you haters saying I ain't making no gains.